Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have a collaboration for you guys. It's yours truly and my good, good friend Melinda over at Ivy Doll. And we are doing a cozy transition, meaning we are going coming out of our winter DIYs and going into Valentine's Day so we can get ready for spring. So after you're done watching my video, go on over to Melinda's channel. Her channel's link will be in my description box below and show her some love. Melinda is a good, good friend of mine and she's super, super talented. And I know she has DIY projects today for you that will wow you. Let's get started. This is the last winter DIY project of 2023 for me. And here are the supplies that you need. I have some Spanish moss from Dollar Tree, some paint from Walmart by Apple Barrel in burnt umber and white. I have a stick out of my backyard. I also have some barbecue screws from Dollar Tree that I already painted with the burnt umber. I have some pine cones out of the yard that I already flocked with some snow, some floral foam out of a package and a terracotta pot that I already painted white. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that foam or you can use floral foam from Dollar Tree or craft store and you want to insert it into your terracotta pot. Yes and right here I'm just using some hot glue because I want it to stay in there permanently. I plan to keep this piece up all year round. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that stick and we are going to get it down into the piece of foam, the floor foam. And we're going to get it stabilized. And what I do is I take some hot glue and I go around the base of it to give it um, extra stability. Now, my stick already has holes in it. I took my drill off camera and I drilled some holes in it. Um, so my um, barbecue screws can fit down in a hole secured. And right here, I'm just taking the screws and I'm cutting them down to the size that I want to attach my pine cones. And I also took the pine cones, each one of the pine cones, and I took my drill and I screwed a hole, I drilled rather, a hole in the bottom of the pine cone so I can stick the screw in there and use some hot glue to secure it into the pine cone. And that's what I'm doing right here. And I'll do the same thing for each and every one of those pine cones. And there it is. And the pine cone that's at the very top, all I used was some hot glue to attach it to the top of the stick. I also added the Spanish moss and I dusted it with some of the white paint to give it the snowy effect. And I also did a jute twine bow and one of my little buttons. And I think this came out absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you like it as much as I do. And I really, really like this one, y'all. I really like this one. And I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to do this project. I saved it for last. Okay, DIY number two. Moving on into Valentine's. Here are the supplies that you need. I have some apple barrel paint in white, some greenery that I got from Dollar Tree, some mm, foam roses. They come in a pack, I think maybe like 12 from Dollar Tree. I also have some scrabble tiles from Dollar Tree and a picture frame from Dollar Tree. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the plastic and the 
screws out of the picture frame to take the frame off because I'm going to give the entire frame a coat of the white paint and I also will be painting the frame. And this frame is absolutely beauty, beautiful as it is. Um, so if you choose to do this project and you want to leave it like that, you can because it is adorable just the way it is. I just wanted to put my own spin on it. And I grabbed some of the Apple Barrel paint in True Pink. I think it's True Pink. Well, it's pink anyway. And I gave it um, a dry brushing of the pink paint by Apple Barrel. And now everything has dried and I'm reattaching the frame, putting the screws back in it. And right here I'm taking those scrabble tiles and I'm going to place them where I want them to go inside of the frame. And it spells out love, L-O-V-E. And I'm going to use some of that super glue, wood glue. Um, to attach the scrabble tiles to the frame because I don't want to use hot glue because you know as soon as you put the hot glue down that's it. So I wanted to use something where I could have a little you know leeway where I can make sure that it's centered straight and lined up straight. And right here all I'm doing is placing the greenery at the bottom with some hot glue the base of the sign and I'll also do the same thing to the roses. And there you have it, another adorable piece. And if I can do this, guys, you can do it too. I think this came out so, so cute. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. DIY number three. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY. I have a glue stick from the whole tree. I have some felt with heart stickers from Dollar Tree. Also, I have some felt letters from Dollar Tree. And I have jute twine from Walmart. And one of those houses from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree carry those year round. And I also have some scrapbook paper that I pulled out of a whole entire book pack that I found at Walmart. Now right here, all I'm doing is placing the scrapbook paper on the house and I'm gonna use my finger to trace it out and use um, a utility knife to cut it out. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I wanted my roof to stay the same and I didn't wanna take a chance on trying to remove it and break it or 
you know, pop it in half. So that's why I chose to do it like that. Also, let me take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. You're so deeply appreciated. And hey, all my new subscribers, welcome to the family. So happy to have you here. And if you're new, just stopping by. Hello and welcome. And if there's anything in this video that you like, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing. It's totally free, so you too can be a part of my YouTube family. And you know I love you guys to the moon and back. I really, really do. Thank you guys. Just a little piece that I left on there. And now that I have it all trimmed out and it fits almost perfect, I'm going to take the glue stick and attach it to the house. And I'm going to give the uh, put a generous amount of the glue on the um, house to attach the scrapbook paper to it. And right here what I'm doing is I'm taking my sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm sanding off the excess scrapbook paper from around the entire house and um, if you don't have um, oh lord what is this <laughs> what in the world <laughs> What word am I looking for? Sanding block. If you don't have a sanding block or a sandpaper, just use some scissors and trim it around. <laughs> trim your uh, excess paper from around your house if you don't have a sandpaper or anything like that. Okay, now, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach our hearts. We're going to place our hearts onto our house and we are going to center them like I'm doing right here. And these little hearts are self-adhesive. All you have to do is just pull the um, paper off the back. And I didn't feel that I needed to use um, any type of glue with them. You know, I, I, it, they felt strong enough, like they had enough adhesive to hold on their own. So that's why I'm not using any um, glue or my podge or tacky glue or anything like that. And I place the letters in the center of each heart to spell out love. And right here, all I'm doing is taking a juke twine and I'm going to wrap, wrap it around a few times um, at the top of the house above the hearts and use some hot glue to attach it. And I also will make a juke twine bow and attach that to the center of the juke twine on the front of the house. And if you hear the choo-choo train in the background, let me apologize. Um, actually, those train tracks are actually a good ways away from the house, but it's late, very late here. 
and everything is quiet. There's no movement outside, so that's why the sound of the train is coming through so clearly because, um, yeah. Okay, don't forget to go over to Melinda's channel and share some love. And if you're coming over from her channel, hello and welcome. And when you get there, tell her the Creole, sa Creole craft and say, what's up? DIY number four. Here are the supplies that you need for this DIY project. I have some of those puff hearts from Dollar Tree. A little glass vase out of my stash. I also have some white um, foam puffed heart pick from Dollar Tree, some of Dollar Tree colors, color stay spray paint, and a candle holder that I previously used for something else. I had it in my stash, I saved it, so I grabbed it and I'm gonna use it for this. Yes, I am. And what I did was I went took it outside and I spray painted the entire thing. First I hot glued the little vase to the candle holder, candlestick, and then I spray painted it. And I right here what I'm gonna do next is add all of these pretty little flowers, purple and peach, I wanna say. Don't ask me why. I just, I just did it. I just, I don't know. I just thought it would look cute, but I really didn't like it after I finished it. But I just left it as is because I could have removed them. But I don't, I really don't know why I did this. I, I just don't know. Maybe because I just went cuckoo crazy for a minute. I don't know. But anyway, all I did was cut the um, white hearts off of the peak, the stems, and arrange them into the foam. And I'm going to take some toothpicks and um, stick them to the little red puff hearts and put them down in the um, floor foam and add some of that reindeer moss around to hide the floor from and yeah that's what I did but if you decide that you want to do something like this I mean you know this is just for inspiration just to inspire you you can take one of those candles holders from Dollar Tree and they sell all these type of faces in um, things at Dollar Tree and you can use whatever type of picks you want to put into your um, planner we're gonna call it a planner or a centerpiece yeah and embellish it any way you like whatever makes your heart happy and there it is and I also took some ribbon and I um, made a simple bow and added a couple of buttons. And overall, I don't like it, but I think it still came out cute. Yeah, I hope you like it as much as more than, <laughs> more than I don't. <laughs> Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And there are the pine cone, my little pine cone tree. Now, I like this one. This one came out adorable. And this is the final reveal, y'all.
And here are the Valentines DIY that we are transitioning in. Actually, I had already transitioned um, because I already uploaded a Valentine's, I think a couple of Valentine's videos, but originally that was our collaboration. I just couldn't wait. Plain and simple, just couldn't wait. All right, thanks guys for watching. Anything in this video that you like, give it a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing so you can become a part of my YouTube family. And if so, click the notification bell and get lost in what you love. Bye-bye.